as you can see, we've had a ton of snow here in northern Wisconsin, and it is only the middle of January. But that being said, middle of January means that bucks can be losing their antlers by now. So I haven't been out, but the plan is to get out here real soon. Throwing a short video together of some leftover clips that I never used last year just to get us in the mood. Enjoy. It's on a road shed. Pond in that bale. I do have permission to be out here. anything for a while so Ooh, it's a match set that one's laying right next to it not a bad set thought it was just one I can see it sticking up like this so I walked out there and the other one was laying right down where they were digging it out. Kind of a cool looking deal. Probably a three year old buck. Really digging out here pretty good. Looks like a nice shed. Looks like he just dropped or just melted. Oh, that's a nice one. Take a picture of this first before I pick it up. It's got some really cool color to it. Just found the third one. I hope it's the match to this other eight. Oh, there's the there's two. It's probably a match set. It's like a side of a two-year-old ten. One there. And one right there. <sighs> Tips are already chewed. Man, I was going the other way and I decided to come back this way. Glad I did. Right there. Nice little set. First one today. Looks like I just came across a dead head. Thinking that's what it is, unless they're broken branches. Yeah, it's a dead head. Old one. It's a nice one. Chewed up though. Damn. Uh oh. sucks it's all chewed up though well just walking down this edge i just got back here 
and uh, walking all the sticker stuff here just right off of a field where I found that match set to a 10 here uh, a few weeks ago and anyway coming around this wood line here just to start back up to get to where that stand and corn is and there's one laying right here looks like a two-year-old hitting this area pretty hard coming out of here and crossing this big field let's see what this is all about <sighs> If he's got a broken G2 or if that's just the way he is. I just don't think he had a G2 at all. <sighs> nope. Just a two year old six. It's strange back in the day, I was the same looking buck just like this. Probably 10 years ago, I found. Uh, three sheds of and then my uncle Randy actually shot and missed him and then he got killed the next year but I had a bunch of history with the same looking type three point like this but well we just started we'll keep walking here good start Look at this runway. It's right on this tree line. It's an old standing cornfield from last year. And I was here a couple weeks ago. Didn't find nothing up here by it, but they're really pounding it. It's a big staging area. There's a lot of turkey tracks in here too, but it's exactly what you're looking for. Heavy concentration of deer. Hope to get a group of bucks that are coming to a feed source and sparring around or messing around on these tree lines, you know, and they knock each other's horns off. Be a good place for a trail camera, but there's just other people that come down here and I don't need it to get stolen, so I would think there'd be something here by now. I haven't had any bucks on camera with horns since January 15th, but I just talked to a friend of mine and he's waiting for one of his big ones to drop and he ain't even going in yet, so he said a lot of the bucks that they know about still have their horns. Today is uh, uh, the 18th or 19th of February, but that's that standing corn up here. But it's from last year. They left it two years in a row. A lot of deer hitting this. All right, I've been walking for a while. I found that one right off the bat. I made a great big loop. Try to figure out exactly where the deer come from but there's deer everywhere but the problem is, is there's so many turkeys they're covering up all the deer tracks so it makes it makes it look like it's just turkeys but it's not there's deer all over too anyway I made a big loop around that old cornfield and uh, I'm coming back walking this edge and I got one I don't know if it's the match to the first one the brow tine looks pretty small or pretty big compared to that first one it's so bright See if I can see it here. It's not that, it's not big, it's just another young buck. My camera work ain't that great today. No, it's a completely different one. This one's really dinky. A bottle right there. 
Yeah, it's so bright it's hard for me to even see what I'm looking at. Little bottle right there. And that deer here is gonna be cool. Get some age on him. The brow on that thing. Got to find a big one here pretty soon. This is the seventh one in this area, and they all been young. I've been walking for a couple hours, didn't find nothing in the first spot, came back to this uh, other spot that's got this old standing corn that they're just pounding, and I had found five or six sheds here, that uh, one decent match set to a, to a young 10. Not a bunch of dinkers, but I just got back into this corn again, and the snow's pretty much gone in it, but little guy right here. Little side of an eight. I'm not sure if it's a match from one I found earlier or not. I won't know until I get back home, but I'll pick that up and I'm going to zigzag out in here and, and hopefully there's something with some size out here. I, I don't know how many times I walked by that one just because of the snow is so deep right here. That's the little guy. That's probably probably the match to one I have. Alright, I'll keep walking, you can see this. This is actually corn is actually two years old. It's been standing for two winters now. And they're just pounding it. Hopefully there's something big laying in here. This is the kind of snow we're dealing with this year, 2023, northern Wisconsin. It may be a while before I find any sheds here, but it's time to start looking. Hopefully this is the first of many videos for you guys this year, and uh, good luck.